Hello. I'm doing a lot of cuttings today, so I thought I'd do a video and pass on some information before I cark it and take it all with me. So that's aloe vera, and I'm using this because it has indole 3 acetic acid in it, and all the gardeners will know that's rooting hormone. So you can get this anywhere in the world. You can move halfway across the world and someone will give you this as a housewarming gift. It's everywhere. Before you use aloe vera, always let it bleed for 15 minutes. Get rid of this yellow goop out of it. And you cut that off. Take the sides off. I always take the sides off first. Now you can peel this with your fingers or use a knife. But you just need to expose the pulp like that. Some people will put that in a blender with some water and make a liquid to soak the cuttings in. I don't, I just dip them straight in there. Now that's a bougainvillea. You want semi-mature wood. When it's green like this, it's immature. And when it starts to branch or it's finished flowering, it's uh, mature. So you want it halfway there. It usually roots from a node, so cut it below the leaf node there. Take off the leaves and spines, or you can leave the spines on if you want and just pull the leaves. Now give it three to four nodes, I usually give it about three. Take that off. Dip that in your aloe vera. Coat it pretty well. Now, I usually sit that aside in a jar or a cup and just let it soak for maybe an hour just to soak up all that juice. And uh, after about an hour, I'll put it in some fine sandy loam. Any kind of sand is good. I asked the local dirt guy for some uh, sharp sand and he had no idea what I was talking about. So it's a matter of whatever you can get. Anything that's well drained. Put it in there, keep it damp, keep it in the shade. And after three or four weeks you can expect to see something like this. These are ready to go outside and be hardened off. And it's really that simple. You can do that with all sorts of things. Have fun with it.